Developing tonight, just one day before opening day, Royals manager Ned, Ye Ned Yost announced catcher Salvador Perez will miss four to six weeks for an off the field injury. He slipped inside of his home when he was carrying a suitcase and caused a grade two MCL tear. KCTV 5's Emily Rittman has more from Yost and Salvi on his recovery. Salvi wrote a message to Royals fans telling them, quote, I know I'll come back stronger, better than ever. As his teammates took the field for practice Wednesday, Perez slowly walked to a podium wearing a knee brace. He described how he fell while carrying a suitcase inside his home. I just lost my balance. I was in socks. And when I tried to put my foot on the floor, just a slide. I can't even move my knee. I can't even walk. And I was scared at that moment. Ned Yost says Perez's injury will be re-examined in two weeks to see how he is healing. At this point, Perez does not need surgery. I mean, he's distraught or, you know, but find a way to deal with it. Hopefully it's, you know, it's sh shorter than longer and we'll just see how it goes. I feel sad because I put a lot of work for this year to be behind the home plate tomorrow and, and I'm going to be there. Perez says he is now focused on healing. Get well and, and get ready to be by the home playing. Salvi says his left knee has caused him problems before. He did have surgery on that knee in 2012. Reporting from the K, Emily Rittman, KCTV 5 News. Ahead of opening day, head groundskeeper Trevor Vance and his crew were busy putting the finishing touches on Kaufman this morning. Look how green the grass is right now. Now, the entire field was replaced during the off season, and as you can see, it looks fantastic. The Royals will face the White Sox with Danny Duffy taking on the former Royal James Shield. Now, if you're going to the game, the parking lot will open at 9 a.m. The stadium gates will open at 1, and the first pitch is set for 315. And tomorrow, KCTV 5 will be your source for all things Royals. We'll have live coverage beginning tomorrow on KCTV 5 News This Morning, beginning at 430.